Well, Gene, for years, Governor Chris Sununu has been telling us he's a manager. He likes the CEO style type jobs and not the kind of legislative horse trading that goes on in a place like the U.S. Senate. Today, he made good on those kind of comments, saying he's officially not going to run for the U.S. Senate and he's going to seek a fourth term as governor in the corner office of the State House. The governor made this announcement shortly after 9.30 this morning in a highly anticipated news conference being watched around the country. He indicated this was a kind of a last-minute decision for him and joked he was still weighing pros and cons up until about 7.45 this morning. But. As we noted before, there were little clues dropped here and there that he was leaning towards sticking with his current job. Primarily that overall disdain for Washington. It's something we asked him about in a one on one interview, kind of a seed that was planted for him at a very young age when he went to live in D.C. while his father, John H. Sununu, was chief of staff to President George H.W. Bush. There's no doubt that spending some time in Washington at a, uh, for just even for a few years at an early age in a time when there was a lot more getting done. Uh, but still, uh, I, I guess I saw the underside of it a little bit and, and just the constant politics and how that really Washington can be a bubble that that folks get trapped in. Uh, so that gave me a, a, a bit of a little bit of a negative perspective. And I think talking to a lot of folks over the past couple of years um, about the potential of running uh, was I was hoping to maybe see something different um, and, and obviously with my experience now having a different perspective but unfortunately now more than ever there's just nothing really getting done down there. Bringing in my colleague now John DeStaso, WMUR political reporter. So this was something we had been talking about for a year. A lot of people at the national level were hoping that Governor Sununu would jump into this race. Turns out he's not going to. What did you take away from when he was speaking earlier here today at the Bridges House? Adam all signs outwardly pointed to him running for the United States Senate. Even his own rhetoric, his own comments, increasingly attacking the delegation, the Democratic delegation and, and Senator Hassan. But in the end, it made sense because Chris Sununu is not a legislator. He's not someone who you can picture uh, walking through the halls of Capitol Hill, falling in line with, with the wishes of either the majority leader or, or the minority leader and being one of 55 or, or 65. He's more of a hands-on manager. And that was the main thing, the main issue that he brought up as to what made his decision. He said he wavered back and forth for quite some time. And yet yeah, him saying, can you imagine me basically down there in Washington engaging in this debate and rhetoric kind of stuff? You know, any politician, yes, you can imagine them doing that. But clearly for him, this was a, a more a stylistic choice than anything else. Yeah, he said a win down there can be doing nothing. And that's certainly not a win up here in New Hampshire. And uh, it, he's, he, it's not shocking in retrospect that he felt that he wasn't cut out to be a United States senator. Now, he didn't rule out going to Washington at some point in the future when he was asked about, who knows, maybe down the road running for national office or being a, uh, a part of someone else's cabinet. Right. Uh, that's another situation where we might see in the future. But for now, uh, he's sticking around and he's going to run for, for governor again. So it's fascinating. And then obviously the other side of this question is sort of what happens to the incumbent, Maggie Hassan. She's running for re-election. Uh, we did catch up with her at an event uh, in Manchester, I believe, earlier today. Here's what she had to say about these new developments. I spend my time focusing on the priorities that people talk to me about. Our races in New Hampshire um, are always tough because we're an independent place and people expect uh, the candidates to come out and talk to them about what's important to them, what they've delivered for them. Uh, that's what I will continue to do. Obviously a lot to unpack from this. You can catch John and I on News 9 Politics Plus. We're going to be live streaming on Facebook and on Twitter here shortly to talk about the many permutations, the dominoes that start to fall from a decision like this. But again, here at the Bridges House in Concord, New Hampshire, the governor's mansion, we're rarely ever here. Some big news today as Governor Chris Sununu has announced he is not running for U.S. Senate. He is running for a fourth term as governor of New Hampshire. For John DeStay, so I'm Adam Sexton. Gene, let's go back to you.